Along the northeastern coast and edge of United City's territory, our hiver finds the city of Bark. Inside the city walls, under the watchful eye of the UC Samurai, there is safety for a time. There's an opportunity to rest, to recover, and resupply. Caravans and citizens, workers and peasants, people of all kinds escape the heat in the town's bar. Rusteko, still acclimatizing to his free will and his own thoughts, finds it oddly familiar. Like the hive, the crowded building hums with the activity and bustle of daily life. But unlike the hive, everyone was new and unknown. Drifter, the barkeep called over to him. You're new here. It was much a statement of fact as a question. Rusteko nodded and approached. Judging by the clientele, the barkeep was well acquainted with the hiveless. His kind laughing and spilling drinks side by side with humans in check. Welcome to the United Cities. Be careful out there. The UC runs off slaves. Those poor sods work in the mines and farms morning to night. Slave traders keeping supplies fresh and coin purses full. Drifters like you gotta stay sharp and keep your head straight to avoid that fate. Rusteko just listened. Outside these walls, you'll have trouble. Bandits and vagrants, sure, but they're small fry. You've got the Manhunters. Officially sanctioned to hunt escaped slaves, they're well organized and well trained. And they're not going to check your story before returning you to a slave market. Then you got the slave hunters, scumbags. Bandits that make their living trafficking people in the desert. They're rabble mostly, but they're ruthless. And watch out for the United Heroes League. Bunch of self-proclaimed vigilantes living some old fort in the desert. They say they keep the peace, but they're generally just harassed foreigners like you. Keep your head down, don't let them follow you out of town. He appreciated the warning, but something inside Mersteko stirred. This wasn't his hive. It wasn't really any hive. But danger stalked the people in town, and instinct took over. While he was here, he'd do his part to defend the city. It was nothing less than his duty. Outlaws struck out at passing caravans and travelers. They were a perfect chance for a soldier to hone his skills. Bandits raided the town, and he too found himself in the fray. Whether it was fending off a lone bandit or the whole gang, it brought him purpose. Even the deadly sand skimmers would have to be driven off of caravans, although that was a dangerous proposition. Many a time Mersteko would be forced to retreat. Most of the time he would escape without injury. Most of the time. Welcome back to Kenshi. Uh, at the end of last time, uh, had a few wounds, so we came in to heal. We've rested the night. We are back up to full strength. Uh, but our dog is still wounded, and he will be out for quite some time. So we'll have to leave him for the time being. Uh, last episode, we did make our way to the northeast corner and found the city of Bark. Uh, so for time, we have a safe area to stay around in. Just gonna drop off some food. And we saw this NPC uh, crankshaft hanging around. Well, we're okay with that. Being a hiver, uh, Rusteko probably doesn't have a particular interest in private property and keeping everyone out. So we're fine with that. Uh, so I think our next goal, uh, we'll be staying around the uh, Orc region for a while. But I think we'll be looking at upgrading our skills. Uh, Probably toughness and dexterity are kind of our next goals here. Uh, toughness, uh, it's damage resistance, 
it is uh, a bit of a hit point buffer. Uh, you go below zero, you get your toughness value before you get knocked unconscious. Uh, so that's very good to have. Dexterity, uh, attack speed, uh, increases your weapon uh, cutting damage. Uh, also very nice. Typically you train dexterity with uh, cutting weapons, uh, especially light ones. Uh, katanas, wakazashis, uh, those sort of weapons. We just have this rusted junk, uh, this iron stick. Not a lot of cutting damage on it. Uh, not a lot of damage either way. I think for the time being, we will just get rid of it. Uh, because hand to hand, uh, martial arts, uh, this will also increase our skills uh, with dexterity. So for the time being, we're going to try to find fights that we can contribute in or slightly lose, but not uh, with a bad result. If we can find some samurai fighting, uh, any sort of enemies, any bandits, we'll, uh, we'll join the fight with them. If we run into some hungry or hungry farmers, uh, outlaw farmers, they would defeat us in a fight, but probably not uh, do too much damage that we'd have to worry about too much. Uh, so we've run into a noble uh, and his hunting party. Uh, noble takes some slaves out and a uh, bit of an entourage uh, and goes to hunt. Uh, Lacking any uh, prey, uh, he will find the first uh, kind of poor person around and use them as target practice. So, while it would be fine to take some damage from his crossbow uh, and just move on with life, uh, they have a very powerful crossbow called an eagle, Eagle's Cross, uh, and they're generally high, high quality. Uh, there's one text box that it was made by the skeleton smiths. So they are ancient smiths uh, crafting weapons and armors with ancient materials and techniques, uh, very high quality. Uh, and that bow is capable of doing well over 100 damage, uh, 150 possibly. And if we take that in the stomach or chest, uh, the, the injury would be so severe, we would likely just bleed out in the sand and die. not an efficient efficient training method so we'll avoid that uh, and because he is a noble here uh, that's his law he can hunt who he wants to hunt and if that includes landowners of the nearby city that includes landowners so we'll try to avoid nobles for a time uh, but what do we have here oh just some man hunters and some tech hunters so these tech hunters are uh, wandering mercenaries. Uh, you find them as a neutral faction all the time. Uh, they're ge generally pretty friendly. Uh, if there were bandits or any sort of just overly hostile uh, faction around, uh, we could pretty likely guarantee or, use, or have their guarantee they'd help. We could also hire them as uh, bodyguards, which I might do. Uh, give us a little more safety. So we could uh, just kind of blindly run, in, run into uh, skimmers or uh, various other enemies in the area, uh, and they do most of the work for us. And Hunter's dealing with some slaves here. Wouldn't mind knocking him out. Let that poor guy get away. Uh, but we're not in a position to really handle that right now. The big issue with hiring mercenaries like these tech hunters or the mercenaries guild uh, is because of their power uh, they would do most of the work in combat uh, and possibly clean up before we can really contribute uh, ex-slave outlaw farmer sorry dude uh, not your good day he won't be able to fight back uh, he lost a leg probably in a skimmer attack trouble. Let me try again. 
Maybe we can't hit him because he's too low to the ground. Uh, low level martial arts is typically just uh, punches. Yeah, that, that looks like the case. There we go. Uh, with our low strength, uh, our punches don't do a whole lot. Two damage. We were actually taking damage in our left arm uh, as we hit him. So a few swings, we're already at 80, 86 dexterity. So let's just speed this up. A little bit of fighting practice. Yeah, and he's... He's conscious, but he's playing dead. Uh, let's unlock the shackles for him, why not? Lockpicking is a incredibly useless, useless, sorry, very useful skill, uh, even if you're not playing a thief. Uh, we can unlock people. Ghosts, apparently. Uh, we can unlock people we meet in the wild if they have slave shackles. Uh, it's not unlikely that we get captured at some point, thrown into a cage. Uh, we can free ourselves. Uh, and as well, uh, there are many ancient ruins. Uh, ancient laboratories, ancient armories uh, that we can find all over the map. Uh, and a lot of their loot will be in chests of varying uh, difficulty to open. So even we won't be uh, really digging into the thievery side of things, uh, there are plenty of legitimate uses uh, for lockpicking as well. So we'll check, take the chance to uh, practice that a bit when we have, have the opportunity. Our money is still good. Uh, looks like the noble again, yeah. Our money's still good. Might be... Might be okay to spend some of it. Uh, we'll pick up some mercenaries and maybe go deeper into the desert. Uh, if we can find some camps. Uh, uh, outlaw bandits. Outlaw bandits. The uh, outlaw swordsmen uh, would be excellent. To run into, especially if we had some mercenary support. Uh, but who do we have here? Yes, yeah, so we do have mercenaries. We can tell by the armor here. Uh, we're looking to hire some bodyguards. Uh, 2,000 cats a day, you know, for one or two days. Uh, let's do that. Still plenty of other uh, recruits we could just straight up uh, hire and bring to our squad here. I think it's a little early for that. I uh, want to kind of stick with the Rusteco and Sands for a little while. And I'm just going to go out now. Yeah, so we got some outlaw farmers. Big number. That's a lot of them. And they are dealing with a manhunter. So these outlaws, uh, probably 15 to 20 stats in general. Uh, way more than we can handle. These mercenaries, they're, you know, in the 40s, 25, 30. Uh, so even with this huge number difference, I think uh, this would be good for us. The mercenaries will mop them up. Uh, we should be able to get some hits in. We'll be taking a lot of hits. And if we do go down, as long as we don't run into any... Uh, Oh, we have samurai moving in too. So yeah, let's let's move in. Get as much combat practice as we can uh, before the mercenaries and the samurai uh, just pop them up. Yeah, we're taking a few hits, so that's good. But too many guards on her now, so we can't really get our attack turn in. Uh, and unfortunately, we can't hire or we can't uh, provide any or give any orders to the mercenaries. They are just going to stand by. 
Uh, they have what are called bodyguard orders, so they will just follow us and attack anything that is hostile. Well, the samurai ruined our day there. What do we have in the sand over here? Ten ninjas, okay, so these guys are good. Uh, they'll do a lot more damage. Uh, they're they're equipped with sword or pretty decent swords. Uh, and they're a decent amount more capable than the outlaws, uh, but it's only a few of them, and calling us a traitor for some reason. That's okay. These guys also have a chance. Uh, they're all wearing the same equipment as we are. The uh, cloth leggings, cloth pants, and the ninja rags. Uh, but they might have higher quality versions. As far as leveling goes, there are plenty of ways to power level uh, the various stats. Uh, strength is really easy, uh, athletics is really easy, and so forth. Uh, Typically, don't want, or I don't want to do that specifically. Uh, not at this point. Uh, I like I like the early game grinds. Get out of the way there. Uh, I like the early game. I like crawling, crawling my way up. The ninja keeps catching me stealing from them. Uh, okay, seriously. Okay, well you just have standard junk. Enough. Okay, one of these people keeps uh, alerting us that we're stealing, uh, but they're not really in a position to stop us, so it's a little bit annoying. Yeah, so she's playing dead. I will leave her, whatever. And I don't, I've said a few times I don't want to play a stealth heavy game, uh, but I'm stealing from people. Sorry, just smacked the microphone. I'm stealing from people outside all the time, uh, either scavenging or beating them in battle. Uh, so what I mean by not stealing is uh, I'm not going to go into a, a shop, weapon shop, armor shop, uh, mechanic shop, uh, and steal from the merchants. Uh, easy to steal, you know, a quarter million cats worth of equipment, uh, risk-free. Uh, and not a lot of challenge. It's fun. Uh, my, my other games have had thief characters, and it's a great way to kind of jumpstart the beginning of the game. But even the low-level towns that don't have uh, any notable smiths in them, uh, you know, steal 50, 60, 70,000 dollars, or 70,000 cats worth of equipment pretty easily. Uh, and the way fencing works is... Uh, the Shinobi Ninjas, the, the Thieves Guild equivalent, they'll buy anything, uh, but their prices are bad. Uh, if you try to sell to the vendor that you stole from, they will identify you and blacklist blacklist you from their shop. Uh, so don't do that. Uh, but the farther away you get from them, uh, kind of faction-wise, the better chances are. So if you go to a different town, sell to a different merchant, they might identify it as stolen, they might not. You'll have a success chance based on your uh, thievery skill. If you go to a different faction, especially when they're not allied, uh, they will not care. Uh, so when we go back with these swords, either, these are considered stolen. Uh, the merchant will have a fending chance on them, uh, but it'll be 100%, because uh, they don't care that we're stealing from Sand Ninjas. So these are the United Heroes League. Uh, they are... Uh, self-proclaimed militia that wanders the uh, United City's territory throwing out for throwing out uh, foreigners and dealing justice their own way uh, probably some political analogs you can think of for that uh, they're good enemies to have they're not strong uh, like these guys at seven. Oh, and he's attacking me already generally they just kind of harass you uh, throw some slurs at you you know, bug man, whatever. Stick man. Uh, but you can antagonize them pretty easily by just sticking around. Uh, and these are the perfect fights for us. Blunt weapons. We're not going to take any severe limb trauma. 
they're not too much stronger than we are, so we're gaining good experience fighting them. Uh, and they're not so far out of our league that it's just completely hopeless. And they have good armor, so our, our mercenaries didn't just utterly mop the floor with them, uh, leaving a bit of action for us. So when, when, we, when we run into these guys out in the desert, uh, we'll probably try to antagonize them and stick around. We won't be uh, completely hostile with them. Looking here at our faction. Uh, United Heroes League, we're zero. As we uh, fight more of them, especially if we kill them, or if we turn them in uh, for bounties or uh, what have you, we will definitely lose some points with them. But these are kind of the one of the low level uh, jerk factions. This guy's got a Nodachi. Maybe I want that. See if we can splint our leg, uh, get our movement up a little bit. No, no, not yet. We'll have to let that heal. So Nadachi's not a bad training weapon, uh, I think. I'm not great in some of the mechanics of the game, but it's all cutting damage. So we have 0.56 cutting damage, uh, which means we have good dexterity growth uh, with that weapon. So whenever we attack with it, we'll be gaining dexterity experience. Uh, it's light. No, it isn't. It's 8 kilograms. Not light. Uh, so that'll slow us down a little bit. We're not strong enough to wield it. You know, let's throw it away. These ninja, so ninja blades, I'm not a fan of them. Uh, the defensive bonus is rough, but as a training weapon, that's what we're looking for. We want to take hits. Here, here, here you go. Uh, which one's worse? Mid-grade mid-grade. So yeah, I think we'll switch off martial arts for the time being. Slowly hobble away from that skimmer over there. Yeah, we'll skip off martial arts. I like using... I generally use a katana early game, just for the the training potential of it. They're light, they're cutting weapons, uh, they're good on unarmored humans, and that's, that's what you spend a lot of time training on. Uh, Ninja Blade's a bit of a compromise, but uh, not too much worse. Alright, so we're back. We're mostly in uh, good shape again. A little bit of leg damage, but it'll heal when we're out in the field. Sands is a bit uh, vulnerable in the chest still, uh, so we'll leave him for now. Drop off a bit of food, uh, get these mercenaries back to work. So over that day, uh, so we're at 10 toughness now, which is great. Wouldn't mind hitting 15 or 20. Uh, dexterity, we got up to 4. Wouldn't mind that going a little bit higher. Uh, and that should level faster now uh, with our ninja blade. a little more cutting damage involved, uh, better experience growth. Our strength is low, but strength is trivial to level, uh, so at some point uh, we'll power level it and uh, half hour later we will be walking around like Hercules. We got a lot to Farmers, I think it's to be another good fight, uh, just like the last one, uh, except we don't have the, probably don't have a samurai squad running around to interfere. We get a lot more work out of this one. Uh, they got a bone dog over there, uh, probably more threatening than most of the farmers are. Yeah, here they go. So we'll let our mercenaries get in first, kind of draw the brunt of it, uh, but we're going to jump right into. It's Probably not a bad thing that the rest of the group didn't notice yet. Because while we do want to take hits, we don't want to get completely overwhelmed uh, to the point that we're crippled uh, and can't fight anymore.
Yeah, here we go. Nice that we drew half their attention again. I really love just watching the uh, combat in this game. Just the animations are so well done. I was looking for a mod that increased more animations, so all the combat uh, is tied directly to the animation. There's a dice roll involved, of course, uh, whether you block or hit or whatever. Uh, but everything you see does tie to the animation. So if someone's weapon is high and you end up attacking high, it'll get blocked. Uh, if you do a wide cleave that just incidentally hits somebody, uh, you'll hit them as well. So I was looking for a mod that increases combat animations, and there are a lot of them. Uh, but they also had a lot of potentially negative feedback, like uh, attacks with this weapon in this range don't work, or bugs and side effects like that. So I didn't want to introduce those quite yet. I uh, haven't had the chance to play with them myself. And I do like using a variety of weapons. I wouldn't want to be using, say, pole arms and have them not work functionally at a certain level range. So I'm just trying to heal these mercenaries because this skimmer is just going to town on them. Uh, and we're being attacked by another group of farmers. And I want these mercenaries to be able to get up as fast as they can. Although they're probably damaged. See ya. Okay, let's get involved. The mercenaries are probably damaged enough that they're going to be uh, in a coma for a short time. But we have two mercenaries up. That's probably enough to clean up this small squad. He is quite damaged though. So is he. Yeah, but these last two are crossbowers, uh, so their melee skills are probably uh, are just non-existent. Yeah, so we've gotten three dexterity already. We're almost at a fourth. Went from four to eight. Uh, our toughness is a bit stunted because they're not hitting us, but it'll grow. We're getting some katana, katana skill, some melee attack skill, some melee defense. Uh, so all in all, this was a good expedition. Our mercenaries is up. And we'll help... Uh, we'll help with the first aid. Another great skill to level. Uh, probably don't need to. Probably don't need to explain why. But it just increases the speed uh, that you bandage wounds, and if you're splinting some wounds, I think it increases the amount that you can splint. Uh, so if we're looking at this guy here, uh, if his arm was damaged more and we splinted him, it would kind of highlight a small section that shows kind of how effective the arm would be after the splint, uh, even if it's not healed that way. So if his armor's at zero, he can't use it. If we splinted it and went to 15, you would gain at least that much use out of it. Which is great for legs, because getting your legs wounded uh, just slow you down so much. Are you waking up? No. Probably going to play dead. Yeah, that's where we're hanging out. Well, if our mercenaries can walk, I think we will uh, try to find the other half of that squad that we left earlier. Yeah, he'll be unconscious for a while. Uh, we'll sleep him have a nap. The NPCs aren't typically smart enough to... Oh, he got up. So there's toughness in action. So even though this guy's uh, chest HP is negative 34, uh, because of his high toughness... Uh, he can actually regain consciousness. Mm -hmm. 
couple of the guys started uh, coming back up after we left. Well, free hits. Yeah, let's go try to find that remaining five or six. Here's a bunch. Don't know if it's the same group, but uh, they'll work just as nicely. Anyways, as I was saying, the NPCs aren't typically smart enough to carry their wounded. So eventually those, uh, there were any uh, mercenaries uh, that were staying down, being unconscious. Uh, they'll eventually get up and follow us. Uh, too late to be of any use. Taking a lot of leg damage. Not ideal, but uh, we'll manage. One thing, we we have a couple battle options on the right side here. If we go into block, we get a huge defensive bonus, but we're going to spend all of our time trying to block attacks. Uh, so a zero offense, high block. Has its use. Uh, passive, we'll just ignore combat. So if our allies are attacked or our squad are attacked, we won't attack unless given the command. Uh, and then taunt, uh, you try to get the attention of the enemies around you. Oh, did the hungry, or the farmers won. Oh, okay, not too surprising because these mercs are uh, incredibly damaged by the skimmer. So we'll just have to let them wake up. Okay, so we're back up. Uh, one of the mercenaries woke up first and uh, healed our chest wound. Uh, we might have been okay, I don't know. It was slightly getting worse. Uh, ooh, that could be bad. Uh, but we may have recovered from it. Uh, but I think we are maybe biting off a little more than we can chew uh, with these large groups, uh, especially with the mercs that are this weak. Uh, so we're going to head back. There's one guy left in the sand. He'll He'll get up or he won't, I don't know. He knew the risks. Uh, but this guy woke up, so we'll meet up with him, uh, and we're gonna have to go back to town and heal up. We have 16 hours left on the contract, so by the time we heal, uh, we'll be pretty close to expiration, and they are not really strong enough to be useful anymore. So I think we'll let that expire, uh, and then kind of judge our options for the next round. Yeah, good toughness from that. So, we got our asses kicked. We have 13 toughness. 8 dexterity. That's a good start. Uh, good melee attack and defense. So, 4,000 cats. A little bit of expensive uh, play to hire these guys. Uh, but I think it was worth it. Let's see, do we have any... Where are we? Oh, we're on the north exit. Or north, but whatever. Couldn't find the inn. Are there any free beds? Probably not. Oh, there's one. So yeah, we're going to rest up. Our uh, contract will likely expire with the mercs. Uh, and then we'll just kind of catch up then and see what happens. Okay, we are rested up again. Food stores are getting uh, getting a little low. But Sands, our bone dog, is back to fighting strength. I think we'll bring him out for a little foray. Uh, a couple of the mercenaries are in decent shape. Uh, they did not rest with us. They just stood around. Uh, They did have a bit of natural recovery. We don't want to go, don't want to go too far. Uh, we don't have a lot of time left on the contract. 
Um, but we still have the same sort of plan. Outlaw. Leave them. Okay, so the Manhunters were going to uh, harass us a little bit. Thought we'd be easy prey. Uh, but because we had the mercenaries, uh, you're either worried about having a witness or uh, just too much muscle on our side. Ooh, who are you? A San Nina Jonin. Oh, so this guy. Wow, that is... He has got some stats. 52 attack, 38 defense. Uh, but this Jonin, uh, this is who we found at the front gates. Uh, that would have been our first or second day here at Bark, who had the high quality swords. So if we can fight him, he's not too much stronger than some of our mercenaries. Except he has the HP advantage by a long shot. We're not too far from town, so I think if we had to retreat, we could. But I think we're going to use this opportunity. He's alone. So if the mercenaries get involved... We don't want to take any attacks from him, because he has a very high quality weapon. Which we want. Not to use yet. I try to... Ooh. That was a big hit to the head. Uh, yeah, we don't want his weapon to use. Okay, they, they aren't quite as good this time. Uh, so these ones are model Katan number two. The last ones were Katan number three. Uh, the Katan Scrapmasters are uh, probably the best living smiths around. So when we get to the town, they are working in we can get some pretty good equipment from them. Costs a lot. Uh, but it is some of the best we can get for quite a while. We'll take his rags too. He has a bounty. So it would be another easy six grand if we could carry him somewhere. We'd have to go to another city. Uh, I think there's one around here. Uh, and down here. But we'd have to go to a city that has... Uh, a bounty station or a police station. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, a few hundred between the armor uh, and the swords are still almost 3,000 apiece. So that's that was good. We took a few good hits and we dealt a few good hits. So I think that was well worth it overall. Okay, so we ran into some of these slave hunters again. Uh, we'll see what they're doing. Yeah, how strong is he? 10, 11. So if we can separate this guy completely, uh, this should be a good fight for us. The other ones don't seem interested. So hopefully we can deal with this guy before the other ones react. Looks like some traveling tech hunters. Uh, if we need to retreat, they might offer some support. But two on one, I think we should be fine. Uh, these guys aren't the most capable. Oh, that got their attention though. Oh, well, they had to, had to injure our leg. Okay, maybe they're just gonna. Rescue their ally. Okay, so one of these manhunters decided he was going to try to capture us. I ran into town hoping someone would uh, stop it, but I guess that's not registering as a f crime. Uh, between Rusteco and Sands, we're not doing too badly. And there I go. So the guard's just going to throw us out of the building.
We don't need any don't need any unconscious people out there. Wonder if that lost his AI on us. No, oh, he's still coming. Wonder if I can quickly hire some mercenaries to deal with this guy. Mercenary captain. There we go. So we hired them back. This manhunter will be uh, dealt with quite shortly. And somehow now that has gotten all of the guards involved. And the bartender. Oh. Let's set, set Sands back in the shack. Unfortunately, we have to spend the money, but uh, Deet's being captured. The Mercs are in a good, more or less good health. Uh, so maybe we'll stick around and get some use out of them. Uh, but until then, uh, back to rest. Okay, Sans is pretty beat up again. But we're going to have to leave him. Uh, kind of par for the course for animals. Uh, at least until he's grown up a little bit and can hold his own better. Fortunately, there's no dog bed we could buy. Drop him in there and let him rest faster. So we do have that shack in town. Uh, and in theory, it'd be nice to, you know, put a bed or something of our own so we can stop going to the bar, and we always have one available. Uh, but the best we could do at the start is a times four camp bed. Uh, and we can't buy the materials we need to build it. We could uh, set up a research bench uh, and research the proper beds. But we can't fit one of those in... Well, we can't fit the one we need in that small shack. So we'd have to buy a bigger house, buy a research bench, uh, research a bunch with our uh, research malice for the Hiver drone or the Hiver worker, Hiver soldier. I'll get it right eventually. Uh, do all the research and then make the bed, uh, which would be nice, but we don't need to buy another house in town yet. Uh, we shouldn't be spending too much much longer here. Probably be hitting off screen eventually, but I'm going to be doing the same kind of routine. Uh, find some friendlies, follow around, get into fights, uh, until I have some stats in the 20s. At that point, it's reasonable. Uh, I can take a couple of low level bandits in a fight. Uh, a couple of the stronger ones would be a decent uh, duel. Slave Hunter, just hanging out. Uh, yeah, so let's... We'll just attack you unprovoked. We don't have any respect for you. Fortunately, the mercs will do all the work, but we'll get a few hits in. Okay, so found some starving vagrants fighting a skimmer. Uh, this would be a great fight to get into if the skimmer wasn't here. Yeah, it's our marks dealing with the skimmer, not the manhunters. If I could command them to flee, I would. Uh, we're just wasting our health fighting this thing. Ooh, 
But we can sneak a few hits on the vagrants, I guess. Okay, I'm just walking back into town. Uh, get stopped by the guards. They look almost half asleep, slumped in their stance, devoid of all enthusiasm. Alright, I need to check your stuff before you can enter town. Spot check, rules, yada yada, you get the picture. Uh, so we're not carrying anything uh, illegal. It's probably a legit search. Uh, so yeah, we'll let him. I see you go ahead. Sigh, so, okay, let's see what you got, I guess. I glance lazily over your stuff. Oh, and they don't care. There is the potential that they uh, plant something on us. Make us pay a fine or a bribe to get in. Uh, but not this time. We have out here uh, manhunters. We've been following these samurai patrols for a while. Uh, I think that's something Rusteko would be kind of used to. Arriving into town, uh, Nothing really to do, just instinctually he's going to want to try to defend it. And the way the hive, uh, the hive works, uh, it's always a group of them. And so just hook, latching on board with a group of soldiers moving on a patrol, probably pretty routine. The point of instinct with them. Uh, also good for us, uh, they're going to run into patrols, bandits, uh, skimmers, and we can just mooch on the experience. Especially if they get a good, uh, a big sized raid. Like, they're probably at least as strong as the mercenaries, if not stronger, so they don't leave a lot of work for us to do, but. It's enough. Got a good fight here. Uh, just gotta watch Sands a little bit. Looks like he's gonna go down, we'll have him retreat. He's taking too much. We'll have him run back to town. Hopefully he can outrun uh, these vagrants. He is still quite slow. We'll just run him to the gate and see if he makes it. No, he doesn't. Oh, but we have, yeah, we have samurai coming in, so that's good. Uh, we're not going to stay down. We want to make sure that the uh, can't get sands. Oh, but our leg is quite hurt. So uh, we'll quickly bandage that up, splint what we can, and hobble over to sands. Still too slow as a pup, so probably still dangerous to keep him around, but it's good to get a little bit of experience out of him. And at least we can stand. Uh, we won't be walking fast by any means. But we're otherwise in good shape, so if any of these any of these guys wake up. Could be fine. Small group of slave hunters over here. Uh, this time we don't have any muscle helping us out. Oh, and we have United Zero, United United Heroes League coming in as well. Uh, what looked like a fun fight. Might just turn into a big brawl. So I didn't know the United Heroes League were against uh, the Slave Hunters, but that is fine. 13-11 uh, or 23-15. This guy should be no match for us. Uh, as we take a big hit to the head. But I think against these two, our chances should be pretty good. Sands is a little weak still, so I'm having him recover.
Yeah, we've got a good couple solid hits. Oh, there he goes. He's down. This guy shouldn't pose much problem either. So we'll deal with him. Quickly bandage up, and I think we'll join the fight. Yeah, see, we've taken a, a few solid hits to the head, uh, but we're still over 100 health there. Uh, which pu puts us ahead of anyone else on the battlefield. So, slight advantage for us right now. He's either using a katana or an odachi. Uh, he does a regular katana. It might be, for training purposes, an upgrade over our ninja sword. Uh, Nodachi is a little bit all in on the offense. Yeah, he's down. So we'll quickly manic up. He's getting back up. Some free attacks. I'm not gonna complain. He could have just played dead. I don't know why he woke up, but whatever. So we'll just quickly bandage our head. Uh, and our left arm, just so it gets stable. Unfortunately, you have to go through the stomach and chest first, but we'll get there. Okay, these guys won't let us, and we don't have any distractions left. So he is on the brink. Uh, this guy's in pretty good shape. Uh, we can probably take him. Our left arm isn't the most important. We can use our sword with one hand. Uh, and he's a weak uh, hit away as well. So maybe these slave hunters will take him down. Yeah, one hit, he's down. This is the strongest opponent on the field. Yeah, and the slave hunters don't care about us right now. Uh, but I don't like them. So that was a really good fight. Uh, and you can already see how much stronger we've gotten from when we made it to uh, Ark in the first place. Yeah, he's got a Nodachi. Not a bad weapon. Uh, in, well, it's rusted junk, but the Nodachi class isn't too bad. Uh, but it's all out offense. Uh, not particularly light. Yeah, they might have some ninja masks worth stealing. A couple hundred cats apiece. Nah, maybe not. But as I was saying, you can already see how much stronger we've gotten uh, since we started here. Or even a single one of these uh, slave hunters and city heroes would have been more than a challenge for us. And we held our own in a two-on-one uh, and even kind of did the cleanup. Got five. Oh, we got seven city heroes. Maybe they'll be interested. We can peel a couple off. Got another stick and stick insect in our cities, eh? Boy, freak. Where's your precious queen now, eh? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. She's imaginary. Ha. Huh. Her her her. Good one, boss. Now, free queens aside, do one, freak. You ain't welcome here. Lead the freak. Okay, swords are out. So this is an unprompted uh, attack, so I'm pretty sure these guards will step in. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, let's go in there. Yeah, the City Heroes League sending their best and brightest. You know what? Let's bring Sans in as well. He's close. 
Ah, he won't be close enough, though. Guards make quick work of him. Got a melee attack out of there. Toughness is almost 96. Oh, where the hell, who the hell are you? Sand Ninja, perfect. I think the guards will deal with them way too quick, though. Another Sand Ninja. Let's go there. Not sure what the two of them were planning on accomplishing, but... I'm not a ninja. I don't know their ways. Yeah, we should be very close now. Yeah, one level of toughness. We can get some... Attacks directed at us. We might be enough in one good fight. Uh, same with melee attack. We're getting quite close. Oh, out into the sands we go. Okay, so we got four slave hunters. Uh, I am willing to fire luck against all four of them. I'm gonna get sands on approach just in case. Oh yeah, here we go. So it is a sandstorm right now. We have 0% per protection. Uh, but that's given us minus 10 attack chance. Minus 4. Uh, no, nothing for defense. So minus 10 attack across the board. Uh, I don't think these guys are protected as well. Yeah, so they're all reaching minus 10, minus 11. Uh, but that still puts us at 15. Uh, well above their attacks of 2. Uh, and well above their defenses of 10. So even though it's a 1 on 4. Maybe, uh, maybe Sands will make it. Uh, but there should be a fight we can handle. Especially if they just come at us one at a time. Yeah, 3% for attack. Not bad. That was a big one. Yes, yeah, so we're going to hit our attack target right away. Uh, he's not landing enough attacks to actually uh, damage us, so our toughness isn't moving quite yet. But When I go uh, find his friends, I don't think that'll be a problem. And hopefully... I don't know, it's a bit risky to have Sands out in the open like that. He runs into a skimmer. Some hungry enemies. Uh, be a problem. Okay, that was absolutely no problem. Where did those three remaining guys go? We'll probably take a few hits this time. Yeah, there we go. There's a big one. It was 5% of a level. Another 5 They're hitting our leg, which is a little annoying. Uh, just slows us down a lot. It's weird saying so, but you get to take shots to the head. Yeah, we're gonna... Oof. Not great. How did they... I don't know, we didn't take any critical damage anywhere. Maybe just knocking us down due to leg damage. Maybe that was enough. guys trying to capture us. We don't want that. Uh, we'll try to fight them while we're down. Oh, they stole our weapon too. Okay, not, not ideal. But if uh, we can get Sans here. Okay, 
Okay, we're just gonna flop around for a while, I guess. Oh, yeah, so they're uh, trying to enslave us. Currently in shackles. But uh, what are they looking at right now? Can't quite click on them the way they're stacked. Uh, come on, Sands. Let's run a little bit. of a Amriel space agency going on. Okay, who's the weak one? Yeah, girl in the front. Start with her. Yeah, 40 damage and attack. If we get a couple attacks off with Sans, like good boy will tear through these people. This guy's using our sword. Yeah, look at that. Good boy. So we'll, uh... Our legs are in bad shape. At least we can walk, though. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is unlock these shackles. Uh, we're gonna get this damn escape slave... modifier. Uh, we vaguely still look like a slave, which is a bit problematic. What are you doing? Uh, so who has our stuff? This guy took our sword. We'll, we'll take that. Yeah, Sans messed his leg up bad, so he's not getting up anywhere. Please stop floating away. I want that sword back. Okay, we'll leave him to the fish. We'll just take the first aid kit so they can't use it if they do wake up. But their weapons too, just in case. Because we're not moving anywhere fast. Our legs are uh, quite bad shape. Minus 27, minus 51. That'll be a long time to recover. Especially without a bed. Uh, let's bandage up sands here. And even as a pup. Uh, 9 attack, 6 strength. He just tore through uh, these three. Slave Hunters. Uh, so you can see how strong... A little taste of how strong dogs can get. But what do you want? So we'll have to hope... Keep running. It'd be nice if they just went after the... Uh, slave Hunters. How strong are these guys? Yeah, these guys are full. We'll have to try to lose their attention. Uh, if one or two follow, Sands might be able to cripple them. But Mersteko, his chest is weak. Left leg, right leg are weak. Chase Sands. Bit cheesy, but since everything is animation based, uh, Sands being a small target, and uh, these guys' attacks are being quite slow and low range with these clubs. Uh, if we do get an attack range, we can just weave back and forth. Manipulate the AI a little bit. And I don't think they're worried about Merseco right now, which is good. Just let him limp by a little. But I don't know if this guy feels like giving up. How strong is he? His legs hurt. 
Sands isn't in a great spot to prolong fight, but maybe we'll have to try it. Hit there. Yeah, let's give. Yeah, keep hitting that right leg, and we can just casually walk away from this guy. Or just drill through his chest like that. That's good too. Forty. There we go. Like some nice hits coming out of sands. Perfect. So he'll probably stay down, you know, three minutes. Uh, but since there's a hostile nearby, I don't think he's going to want to get up. Uh, yeah, and they ignore him or stay go. I don't know if it's because he has the slave status, which should be kind of what they're looking for. But for whatever the reason, uh, we get away home free. We only have nine hours remaining. I guess it's because they didn't completely capture us and turn us in. Uh, and honestly, it might take nine hours just to hobble back to town, so not a, not a terrible thing. We could steal, could steal this uh, Manhunter's equipment. Something I haven't touched on yet is uh, we have a disguise. We look like a sand ninja, and that's because these pants and this uh, top I, uh, I have, I uh, stole from a sand ninja. So, if anyone's hostile to Sand Ninjas, uh, they might attack us just because we look like it. Uh, but it might also get us to sneak by some Sand Ninjas. Uh, let's... So even though they are the same pants, these are like Manhunter Faction Uniform, Sand Ninja Faction Uniform. Exactly the same item, uh, but they're the they're disguise instead. We might walk into town that way. Uh, looking like a manhunter. If there are any manhunters we run into, they'll uh, likely not be impressed. Uh, but it should get us past the samurai guards. And it might even dro drop our uh, looks like a slave percentage enough that it doesn't matter. But we're still 10%, uh, so I guess that doesn't really matter. Rosteko would have held his own better against uh, those slave hunters if the damage is spread out a bit. Uh, but because of the concentrated damage taken to his legs, knocked him down. Oh, now we have that 95 hours. Why 95? 1%. I don't know. Must recalculate after that initial one wears off. Uh, but 1%, I'm not too worried. We should be able to get in and out the gate the few times we need to. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, against those slave hunters, Mersteko should have handled better. Uh, but just because of the leg damage, uh, and we don't have a lot of mitigation on the legs. Uh, like 11% mitigation from the left to right leg. Uh, just took too much damage, knocked him down. Uh, and once you get knocked down to the ground, you're considered vulnerable. Knocked unconscious briefly. Shops open. Uh, and so that let them... I'd give them the chance they needed to take our equipment and uh, try to enslave us. But Sands was nearby. Handily dealt with the rest of them and we're free again. We were these 93 hours. Gonna have to rest up for a bit. Uh, but I think Rostek was done with Spark. You know, not... Not the safest place for him. There's not really anything positive by gained by staying. Uh, all the beds are taken again. So we'll have to wait, make our way back to the uh, camp beds. We'll just feed Sands while we're here. Make our way across town again. Uh, we'll probably call it as we're getting in. Got a lot done this episode.
kind of at this point point of strength. Uh, I like trying to settle down a little bit, recruit a few people, a couple more people for combat, a couple people to act as villagers, farmers, uh, researchers. So I think, uh, yeah, we're gonna we'll end up here. We'll rest up, resupply. Hopefully this uh, one percent doesn't become too much of an issue. And then we'll branch out into the world, probably down the coast a little bit. Uh, I'd like to find another town, and I don't know exactly what's on the east coast until we get quite a lot farther south. But maybe we'll take our way down, keep looking towards the west, uh, and see if we find another place we want to explore, and uh, see if we can find anything or anyone uh, worth checking out. So thanks for watching, this has been Kenshi, and I'll uh, see you next time.